Social media is damaging your mental health. It's causing you anxiety, depression, and making you feel bad about yourself. Here's a surprising lesson I observed from a pair of socks that will absolutely help you. A pair of socks? Seriously, stay tuned and see how. Hey, smart people, look, you're not alone. This is something that's affecting and infecting a surprising number of people just like you. That's why the good people at BetterHelp.com are sponsoring this video. You deserve to be happy, right? Many times you just need someone qualified that you can talk to who can provide a, a level of professional help that simply doesn't exist when you speak with a friend or a member of your family. They'll match you with a therapist who's a good fit for your needs and requirements when you answer just a few questions and you get to communicate with them your way, whether it's by messaging, chat, phone call, or video. I've included a link to their site in the description below this video. Use it if you need their services and you'll get 10% off. Take a moment to check them out if you're going through some challenges right now and think it would be a good idea to get some better help. It's a curious thing. I often find important life lessons in the most mundane of activities. While folding laundry recently, a thought occurred to me about how my socks are like the way people present themselves on social media. Now, stay with me here, because this may be a different way for you to look at things. I recently got some new socks. Look at the lettering here. It's clear and easy to read, fruit of the loom. Check out the design. Everything is nice and neat and orderly. However, when I turn my sock inside out, look at the difference. You can't make out what the lettering says at all. It's a big blur. There are all these loose threads around the edge of the design. Inside is a whole lot different from the nice, neat appearance on the outside of the sock. On social media, most people typically do their best to present all the good-looking parts of their lives. You get to see the new stuff they bought, or someplace cool they went, or what looks like some fun things they're doing. The problem is that you may look at your day-to-day -day life and compare it to the images you see others posting. But what you don't see is all the loose threads, all the blur, all the mess underneath what they're presenting on the outside. You just see the good stuff not the mess. And let me tell you, no matter how cool they look on the outside, there's always some sort of turmoil going on in private that they would rather keep hidden. I do it, you do it. It's just part of the way social media works. It's only human nature to want to show the world the stuff that helps make us look good to others. So here's the lesson. Stop comparing yourself and your life to them. You're not getting the whole picture. You're only seeing the outside of the sock. And look, it doesn't matter who we're talking about. On any given week or month, there's going to be yet another story about some movie star or some sports celebrity or some big deal business person or politician who just had their lives turned inside out in a very public display. What seemed like someone who supposedly got it all together living a perfect life, someone who had tons of fans or is some big influencer, has the curtain pulled aside to expose the big mess they're dealing with in their private lives. What's stressing you out is that thinking that others are doing so much better than you are. Your, your self-esteem takes a pounding. You have negative thoughts about yourself. You feel depressed because you're not doing as well as what's-his-face or some old classmate or a former coworker. While it affects people of all different ages, it's those between 18 to 24 that are 
probably the hardest hit. The Center for Collegiate Mental Health did a study that revealed the top three diagnoses on college campuses. They are anxiety, depression, and stress. That's especially sad because those years can be the best, most fun-filled time of your life. It's no wonder that anyone who spends a lot of time on social media suffers from those mental health problems. What you're getting on social media is other people's highlight reels. You know, like in sports, where you only see the best moment of an athlete's career. And then you're comparing their best of moments with your behind the scenes daily reality. The two things are simply not the same. Remember this, it's all just an illusion. Stop comparing your real life to fantasy. Everybody's got their struggles. You just may not ever get to see what they are on other people's social media pages. In addition to the activities and lifestyle stuff, there's something else that people compare. The other thing you're comparing is how many likes or comments or shares you're getting to things you post. You're attaching your sense of self-worth to the reaction you're getting to the content you post. I've heard of some people taking dozens, if not hundreds of photos, just so they have that perfect selfie to post. Ultimately, it all means nothing. Sure, your ego got stroked for a few minutes because something you posted got a lot of attention, but the good feeling fades fast. So you're stuck in a loop of constantly trying to get people to pay attention to you. You are not your social media page. Your worth, your value is not determined by whatever you're doing or not doing online. Want to feel better about yourself and your life? Then find a way to help others. Volunteer somewhere that you care about, whether it's a hospital or a children's activity, maybe an animal shelter or a local athletic center. Maybe join a group at your place of worship or tutor younger students or find a way to mentor someone who needs help. You have more to offer the world than you realize. Once you start getting outside of yourself and your own little world and begin finding ways to be of service to others, you'll be amazed at how much better you will feel about yourself and your own life. And you'll be helping make the world a better place in the process. If you enjoy what we're doing here on my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Hit that little bell icon to be notified whenever I release a new video. A good use you might consider for social media is to share any of my videos you find particularly helpful and help spread the good word. As always, everything I teach does take a bit of work and effort, but it's worth it. Always remember, the fastest way to get to the top is to get off your bottom.